Hello dear learners our indian constitution envisages that every child has a fundamental right to education and must be given the opportunity to read and write but at the same time we know that every child does not carry the same caliber of learning every child has unique characteristics interests and abilities and thus their learning needs are also unique and should be respected this gives the basis for the emergence of inclusive education in this lecture we will study the concept of inclusive education inclusion is education is a pedagogy wherein all the students learn together students with special needs spend most or all of their time with their normal peers in the same school It is the actual merging of special education and regular education with the belief that all children are different and will learn di differently and they should have full access to the same curriculum. In 1901, Ovid de Crowley founded a school for children with mild disabilities. He gradually invented this pedagogy which we call inclusive education. It can be defined as a process of addressing the diverse needs of all learners by reducing barriers to and within same learning environment. Inclusion started its journey from exclusion. Exclusion occurred when students were denied access to education. As in the early times, the disabled children were kept out of the educational institutes. and they were not considered for getting education slowly we moved towards segregation in segregation learners with special educational needs were placed in segregated educational setting for example special schools were made for visually impaired learners and separate schools were made for students with intellectual disabilities in integration all the learners are absorbed into the mainstream education system this means that students with special educational needs also learn with their normal peers but learners are required to fit in with the existing educational structure no changes or adaptation are made in the learning environment as per the needs of the learners for example an orthopedically disabled learner is admitted to a school but no ramp or elevator is provided to him to access the classroom but in inclusion we take care of the needs of every learner here all children learn together within one group it brings all students together in a classroom and community regardless of their strengths or weaknesses in any field all students are provided with learning opportunity resources and teachings that are tailored to their needs in order to achieve their full potential there are four key elements of inclusion as described by unesco according to the first inclusion is a never ending process it is not a one time activity rather it is a continuous series of actions with the aim of finding the better ways to respond to the diverse need of all learners so that their participation in learning culture and society can be enhanced inclusion is identifying and reducing barriers in learning process consequently it involves collecting collating and evaluating information from a wide variety of sources so that evidence based improvement can be made in policy and practice inclusion is about presence participation and achievement of students by presence we mean children should not only be given access to the schools but it is also to be ensured that they are attending the schools regularly participation is related to the quality of their learning experiences when they are in the schools it means all effort should be made by the schools in terms of resources in terms of facilities to provide them quality learning experience 
Achievement is about outcomes of the learning experiences across the curriculum. It means students first acquire the related knowledge and skills after getting the quality learning experiences. Inclusion involves a special emphasis on the learners belong to marginalized, excluded and underachieved groups. This indicates the moral responsibility to ensure that those groups that are statistically most at risk such as disabled learners should be carefully monitored and necessary steps must be taken to ensure their presence, participation and achievement in the education system. Objectives of Inclusive Education The first objective of inclusive education is identification and assessment of children with special needs at an early age. Early identification of children with special need is very important. Through this, those negativities in the children can be detected at very early stage which hinders their academic development. At the early stage, these problems can be fixed more easily before they become more hazardous. The next objective is providing learning resources and ensuring its access to every learner. It states that a variety of learning material and activities for a topic should be provided to the learners in the class. This will give them an opportunity to choose from those materials for learning according to their needs, interests and abilities. Teacher must ensure that the students are able to learn and develop their understanding by using that material. The next objective is preparing general education teachers for inclusive education. The need for all teachers to be prepared for inclusive education becomes more evident with the presence of diverse learners in mainstream classrooms. Therefore, teachers must be equipped with inclusive teaching competencies such as knowledge about diversity, skills in diverse teaching techniques, curriculum modification, behavior management system, etc. Along with this, an orientation needs to be provided to educational administrators and principals in strategies for managing inclusive education in schools. The active participation of these stakeholders is the single most important predictor of success in implementing change, improving services, or establishing a new learning environment desired for inclusive education. The next objective is providing assistive technology resources and ensuring its access to the learners. Assistive resources are any equipment, software or product systems which are used to increase or improve the functional capabilities of learners with special needs and enable them to learn independently. For example, for the students having vision limitation, the text-to-speech technology support them in learning. For children struggling with verbal skills can be assisted by an app called Visual Scene Display. Thus, it's important to provide students with assistive technology resources in inclusive classes to capitalize on their strengths and mitigate their weaknesses. The other important objective of inclusive education is to promote research and innovation to develop new pedagogy, assistive technology, learning resources for the students. The research will be an evidence-based approach to tell us which practices and context are proving effective in the successful implementation of inclusive education. So dear learners, inclusive education views each and every learner as a part of the whole school system right from the enrollment. It is about adaptation in the school system as per the physical, social, cultural needs of the students rather than students adapting to the needs of the school. Thank you.